Hi there. In this session, we'll study about how we can interface a buzzer with Arduino. A buzzer is a very small electronic component which works on piezo effect. So it generates some audio because it vibrates at some particular frequencies whenever a supply is given to it. It looks as small as like this but comes in a variety of different sizes. It can be a PCB mounting one, uh, like the one you see in this uh, diagram, as well as it can come with two wires. Uh, those two wires are nothing but plus and minus supply wires. And all we have to do is give it some voltage between 3 to 30 volts and the buzzer can generate some sound. Whenever you are interfacing this buzzer with Arduino microcontroller board, then you don't need any kind of switching circuit for it. You can directly connect the buzzer with the input output pin of Arduino. So what you have to do is you have to connect this positive terminal with the Arduino's pin and the negative pin can directly go to ground. You can either make the buzzer go simply on and off or you can give it some particular frequency so that it generates some particular tones. In Arduino, you can also generate the tones using the built-in tone library. So let's see how and uh, how we can use this buzzer in our project. So let's begin. As said, the buzzer can come in a variety of sizes as well as shapes. So you can see this one here looks like a PCB mounting buzzer. And this one here comes in a package which has got two screw holes and two wires. The two wires are usually red and black wire which can be connected directly to the Arduino pin and ground. While writing down program for this kind of buzzer, all you need to do is simply make that particular pin of Arduino high or low. By simply making it high and low, the buzzer will either turn on and turn off, thereby generating some sound. Now, if you do some experiment with this high and low, if you do some experiment with the turn on time or keeping the on time something, off time something or making it switch at a very faster rate, you can generate several tones. Arduino provides us with a tone library as well, which generates a square wave of a specified frequency on any pin of Arduino. The duty cycle means the on time and off time ratio is 50%. Means whatever signal we generate using the tone library, the on and on period on and off periods are always the same. The tone library has a very simple syntax where you just have to call tone, then mention the pin on which you want to generate the tone, and then mention the frequency which you want to generate. Due to some technical reasons, a sound or a signal less than 31 Hertz is not possible to be generated on Arduino. In the same function tone, you can also optionally provide the duration in milliseconds for which you want the tone to be generated. If you don't specify any tone in duration, then the tone will be generated onto that pin or the frequency will be generated onto that pin infinitely, unless you give a call to a function called no tone. Whenever you are using this tone library, the PWM operation is disturbed with pin number 3 and 11. So if you are using pin number 3 and 11 for tone generation, then there will be some problem with the PWM output. That's one thing you have to keep into mind. So let's see how we can write down a program for this tone library. Hi there. Now let's see how we can connect the buzzer to Arduino and how we can write down a program for it. So for this experiment, what I'm going to need is just an Arduino board and a buzzer. So this is the normal piezo buzzer that you can use. I'll connect the negative wire of this buzzer to the ground pin and the positive wire I'll connect to let's say pin number 3. I'll change the color to red. Now let's write down a very simple code for this. Void setup and then void loop. And let's just declare int buzzer equal to 3. So it's connected to pin number 3. Pin mode 3 comma output. Output. 
just like an LED, just make it on and off. That's about it. Let's start the simulation. As you can hear, it's generating some sound. Now in hardware, if you have a physical, a simple piezo buzzer, which is a continuous type one, then it will generate a continuous tone with this code. Now this one here is just a plate, which requires some frequencies to be given so that it generates some sound. So it depends which buzzer you get your hands on. If this kind of simple on off is not enough for you, then let's try to use the tone library. As I said, the tone library is very simple. All you need to do is specify the pin, specify a particular frequency, let's say 150 hertz and that's it. And then I'll wait for three seconds to listen to this and then I'll simply call no tone on pin number three. So tone will generate the sound and no tone will stop the sound coming from pin number three. Now, since we have connected pin number 3 to buzzer, actually what is happening? It's generating or it will be generating a 150 hertz square wave. And because of that square wave, this buzzer will generate some different kind of audio. Let's try to see the simulation for this. As you can notice, there is some specific sound. Experiment the way you want by changing these frequencies. You can also combine these number of different sound nodes so that a variety of sounds can be generated. There is a sample in Tinkercad. Let's try to see that sample which generates a specific uh, tone from the buzzer. So to open that sound, uh, sample, just create a new circuit and where you search for the components, just type buzzer. It will show you a readily available circuit with Arduino. So tone melody, that's the circuit. So that's a sample which, uh, which is having the tone code already written for it and it generates some notes. So these are some notes with different frequencies. So node C4 is having 262 hertz, G3196 and so and so. And what they have done in this sample is they are providing this tone with a variety of durations. A simple code will generate some sound. Let's listen to it. As you can see or listen. So this is a simple melody generation program in Arduino. You can also open the Arduino software or Arduino IDE and you can also try out the same code with Arduino IDE by downloading it into the board. So try out with the buzzer that you have. Uh, sometimes you might just be enough with the on off which generates a beep. Sometimes you might need to generate this kind of tones. So look out for these tone related programs, how you can experiment with them and how different sounds can be generated. There was nothing much to learn about in the interfacing. You just have to take the buzzer, find out the appropriate anode and cathode or positive and negative wires and connect it with Arduino. So experiment with it and listen to the audio generated. Thank you.